Yeah, it was uh, first and foremost. It was it was great to get the three points, you know, and get the monkey off her back of having no one a home game. To do it, scoring four goals and possibly could have scored more was uh, it was brilliant to see. You know, the confidence in the side, especially after the second goal, went in, you could clearly see they started to play with a real swagger. So that was nice to see. It's the first time we've kind of seen that, you know, and we've built on the previous. You know, good play in the two draws that we had already had. So, uh, you know, the, the challenge is now to keep that going and up against a very good Rangers side. So, who are going to be hurting from their results during the week and desperate to bounce back. But we're at home and it's up to us, you know, to, to go and put them under pressure and try and create opportunities. How important was the timing of that result? Because you do go into a very tough game on Sunday, but then on the back of that, you've got a tough schedule with. Aberdeen and Celtic on the back of that? Yeah, it was very important. It was very important just, as I say, to get the monkey off the back first and foremost. But, you know, we've got to make sure when we're playing the teams round about is that those head-to-heads are very important. And the dressing room was fully... They understood fully, you know, how important it is, you know, when you come up against teams that are round about you, that you try and claw some points back. So we managed to do that and, you know... Sunday's a different game, you know, we go into it against a really good team who, as I say, they're going to be looking to bounce back, so we know we're going to be facing good players, but we've got good players and it's amazing what a wee bit of confidence does, you know, that gives you that wee spring in your step and the players should take every confidence for the performance, the goals and also the, the work rate to try and keep the ball out the net as well, which uh, sometimes gets missed just simply because the goals are highlighted, but we worked ever so hard to try and nullify Hamilton. And of course, as you say, uh, Rangers hurting very much from uh, their result against Aberdeen and you guys on, on the up at the moment. How much of an advantage can that possibly give you and how much are you going to take that in this game? No, it's not an advantage. You know, it's a completely different game. Uh, we know they've got a stronger squad than us, but you know, that doesn't mean to say you always win the, the game. And, we get into every game expecting to get a result, so we know we're going to have to do a lot of things well. We're going to have to defend well, our goalkeeper will need to make saves. They're a real threat for, uh, from set plays as well, so that's something we're going to have to handle. Uh, but equally, we've got threats around the pitch as well, and it's up to us to try and get into those key areas and try and make it count. Do you feel, I know Paul McGowan was sort of saying, you know, the training, he feels he's never felt fitter. Do you feel that you're getting a response now from the players from um, the, the things that you've implemented in the training and things? Yeah, there's definitely been a response, but there's still a lot of hard work ahead. Uh, we still need to you know, make sure that we're covering more distances in game, you know, try and convert more chances of what we've created lately. You know, So it's a work in progress. We'll never stand still. We'll try, try and keep getting better and better. There'll be blips along the way. There'll be poor results along the way, but... Equally, it's about how you bounce back, you know, and that's the most important thing. The, you know, the players fully understand that it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, it's about how you react to that mistake. You know, you don't feel sorry for yourselves, you don't throw your hands up in the air, it's just about trying to make it better. And we see, sir, that at the other end of the league, you know, there's a, a lot going on. You come at the top of the table, there's a, quite a buzz around the top six. How important is it that you keep that buzz? around the bottom end of the table as well as we start to see happening now with you guys picking up? Yeah, we've just got to focus on ourselves and try and keep getting positive results. As you said earlier there, you know, it's a difficult period for all the clubs. You know, we're all playing each other in the space of a month. You know, we, we seven fixtures crammed in. You know, so it's important that we try and maximise as many points as we can and, and see where we are at the come the winter break. Jim, how important a role do the likes of your experienced pros, the likes of Miller, McGowan, O'D, how important a role do they have in in the Dundee revival? Yeah, they've got a very important role. You know, ex- experienced players. You know, that's the ones that the younger ones learn off of, and they're the ones that lead by example. Uh, and you can clearly see, you know, so far in the, these last four or five games, you know, Darla Day's influence, Jensen Kasunga. Kenny Miller's obviously with his goals, but not just his goals, his attitude to work hard and do the right things. Martin Woods in the middle of the park. And as you say, Paul McGowan back fit again is 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 a big help to us, you know, because he's such a clever player. Must be great to see the way K 
10 year old back the years, you know, you would never have guessed ever that he was 38 with that performance, would you? No, he was fantastic, you know, and he, he deserves all the plaudits he gets, you know, he's looked after his body, in, in, it's incredible shape for somebody that's 38, uh, you know, he'll never lose the ability to score goals, he's done that all his career, it's just a matter of making sure that we're getting him into the right areas and making sure the service is provided, but uh, he's, he's, he's setting two goals in particular, you know, with brilliant finishes and, you know, that of somebody we, we a real life or goal. And uh, what's the team use? How's that shaping up over the weekend? Well, obviously, Dan Day will definitely miss out. He's having a scan uh, today. We we'll know the extent of that. That was the only negative on the night, was losing losing Dan. Uh, so we'll know more about that later, hopefully today. Uh, Josh Meekins is obviously the longer-term injury. Uh, Benji, uh, Rory Deakin and... Abdul Nabi, he have done a bit of light training, but probably be too soon for them. Apart from that, everybody's fine. Yes, everybody else is good to go. <laughs> How satisfying was it? It's not just for the victory, but the fact he came with a clean sheet as well. That was very satisfying, and and Jack deserves great praise for his save at the end. You know that was equally as important because obviously. You know, goal scorers always get the recognition, but he had a couple of really good saves within the game as well. Uh, so I was delighted for for him, the defence, and the team, and as a whole. And, and at the end, obviously, the appreciation of the fans. First time you've been able to take out the board with a, a victory. Yeah, they've, and you know, I've got to say, in the previous games here, they've been very patient as well, especially when we go behind against St Man, and we show a good response. And the fans get right behind us. It was it was great to send them home happy, you know, because it's uh, no been it's been a miserable season, especially at home. You're coming up against Rangers, who will more than likely be without Morelis on on Sunday because of suspension, but they'll have somebody equally as good coming in. That must you know, the size of their squad must be difficult to, to come up against the weekend. Yeah, but that's uh, what happens when you come up against the old firm. You know, they've, they've obviously got the resources to be able to, you know, have two players for each position, sometimes three in that position. So it's a challenge that you want to embrace. You don't want to f- you don't fear challenges like you want to play against the best players and test yourself. You know, that's the games that you want to play in and, and, and see measure yourself and see where you're at.